Today is the 26th of January, uh, 2010. We're at the uh, Beverwick Terrace uh, Senior Home in Slingerlands, New York. Uh, my name is Wayne Clark. I'm with the New York State Military Museum and Veterans Research Center in Saratoga Springs, New York. Uh, sir, for the record, would you... We're upstairs moving. Okay. Would you please state your full name and your date and place of birth, please? James Bottom, born in Cahoes, New York. And when were you born? October 23rd, 1923. And did you attend school in Cahoes? Yes. And um, what year did you graduate from high school? Approximately. 41, 1941. All right. Um, do you remember where you were and what your reaction was when you heard about the uh, uh, attack on Pearl Harbor? I think it was going to an aviation ground school in Elmira, New York. I don't remember what my reaction okay. was. Okay, this was after you graduated from, yes. from high school? Yes, it was run by the, end. what the hell were they? Run by the government anyway. Okay, so you were interested in becoming a pilot at that point? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, it, at that point, did you go on to college or did you go on to the service? I went to the service. All right. And um, how far did you get with your flight training before you entered the service? Oh, nothing. I did it all in the Navy. Okay. And uh, when did you enter the service um, approximately? I guess uh, you went in in July of 42? Yeah, I, uh, I didn't go on an active duty till January of 43. Okay. And didn't, I was supposed to go right to flight training, but between the time I enlisted and I got called to duty, they had added six more months to the program. All right. So I went to Colgate University for three months. Okay. So you went into the Navy? Yes. Why did you pick the Navy? Was it because of the flight program they had? Yeah, yes. Okay. And whereabouts did you go for your basic training? I think I went to, uh, I went to Cornell University at first. Okay. And uh, flew Cubs there. And then, no, excuse me, I went to Colgate first in something called Flight Preparatory. And I think the reason for that was they had so many people and listened didn't know what to do with them, so they instituted these stupid programs where we did nothing uh -huh. but go to school. And I went to Cornell for three months. That's where I learned to fly in Ithaca. And you learned on the J-3 Cub? Yep, yes. What did you think of the Cub? Oh, nice. Nice little airplane. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, do you recall how long it took you to solo? Eight hours. Really? That's what, <laughs> that's what it was. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, once you completed that program, where did you go next? Oh, I gotta start thinking. <laughs> I went to Colgate first, which was three months of just schooling. Then I went to Cornell, where I learned to fly. Went to Chapel Hill for their pre flight program, which was a bunch of junk athletics and all that. Okay. And, uh, and I went to Glenview, Illinois, to primary. And what kind of aircraft did you fly in primary? Uh, N3Ns, they mm -hmm. were called. I don't know. They were biplanes. Oh, okay. Two-seat biplanes. The, the Stearman? The Stearman. It was a Stearman, and the other was, I forget, it was an N3N, but I don't know what the hell it made it. Okay. What did you think of the Stearman? Oh, it was a very nice airplane. Easy to fly. Uh-huh. A lot of fun. Okay, and uh, and I went to uh, Corpus Christi. That's where I got my wings. And what did you uh, fly at Corpus Christi? Uh, SNJs. Okay, that was the uh, North American something. I uh, forget what the name it was. It was, I believe, the AT6. Yeah, AT6 in the uh, Army and SNJ in the Navy. All right. Just, nope. to, be, just to be different. <laughs> and what did you think of the AT-6? Was, oh, it was a very nice plane. Was it, a, was it a hot aircraft? Semi. Uh-huh. It was nice. Pretty fast? Yeah, and it was a low wing and you could do acrobatics in it. Uh-huh. 
with a very nice, nice airplane to fly. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got your wings. Yep. And were you commissioned at that point? Mm hmm As a... Ensign. As an ensign. Mm hmm All right. And where were you sent next? I think I went to Miami, Naval Air Station in Miami, and flew torpedo bombers. Okay. So you you didn't uh, do any carrier flying? Not not that, but I did okay. do carrier flying, yes. Okay. And uh, I never was stationed on a carrier, but we used to go, well, I think, in the Great Lakes and do it up out of uh, Glenview Naval Air Station. Okay. Now that uh, torpedo bomber, <coughs> was that, uh, what kind of plane was that? Was that the Douglas Dauntless? No, that was a dive bomber. Okay. It was an Avenger. Avenger. Yeah. All right. The Grumman Avenger. Okay. And uh, when were you shipped overseas? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, was it in 43 or 44? Probably 44. 44, because I graduated in 44. Okay. From flight school. All right. And I went to three months in, uh, in the operational, then I went to a squadron. Mm -hmm. That was a replacement squadron on Saipan. All right. Now, when you left the States, where did you leave out of? <coughs> did you leave from the West Coast? San Diego on the leave. Okay. And uh, you went by boat? Or ship, or did you fly? I think we bought by a, a carrier, I think. Okay. And uh, did you stop in Hawaii at all? Yeah, yeah. I flew, I can't remember the name of the field there in Hawaii. I flew out of there for a while. Okay. And then went to Saipan. All right. And uh, what was it like on Saipan? Was there a lot of action there when, when you arrived? No, it was uh, there was no war there. Anyway. We just were uh, we were based there, and in a replacement squadron, and the carriers would come in, and if they needed pilots, they'd take them out of the pool. Okay, what was life like for you on Saipan? Oh, it was nice. <laughs> they killed all the bugs. It was just beautiful. Uh huh. Nice weather all the time. What kind of living conditions did you have? In a quad hut. Uh-huh. Any problems with, like, uh, snakes or scorpions or...? No. No? Um, at that point, uh, were there still Japanese on the island? Snipers or anything like that? No. No? Okay. And... Uh, I think the closest ones were on an island called the Yap, mm -hmm. where they were left. The Japanese just left them there. All right. So we go over and bomb them every once in a while. What was, what was your first mission like? Oh, nothing. There was no opposition or nothing. We just went in and bombed. Uh huh. And went back home. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you flew with a crew of two. Yeah, a turret gunner and a gunner in the belly. Uh -huh. Okay. The radio man in the belly. Okay. And little thirty caliber sticking out. Okay, and you, four, I don't know. and you flew with a pilot and co-pilot? No, just me. Just you? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And uh, were you ever under attack by any of the Japanese planes? No. no. Okay. What, what about uh, ground fire? It was mostly near the end of the war, I think. I think it was pretty much the whole place was, you know, mm -hmm. conquered by then. Okay. Do you recall uh, where you were when you heard about the death of President Roosevelt? Oh, gosh, no, I don't know. No. What about when, the... When was he? When was he? Uh, when I believe he, he passed away in April of 45. I had to be in the Pacific somewhere. Mm -hmm. Exactly where, I don't know. Now, when you heard that uh, Germany surrendered, did you think the war would, would be over soon after that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> how long were your missions generally when you flew? Well, I was just in a replacement squadron and I never got into any action at all. So. Okay. We just went up on 
and Florida Kingdom. Okay, so basically just training missions? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, and... Uh, At the time, they weren't losing any aircraft anywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think of uh, when you heard about the the dropping of the atomic bomb? Did you have any uh, idea how devastating one bomb could be? No, uh, not at all. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody did at the time, did yeah. they? Until they dropped it. Most people didn't, no. Um, when, when Japan surrendered, <coughs> was there a lot of celebration in the mm, unit? I don't think so. No? It was inevitable, you know? Yeah. How long had you been overseas when, uh, before the war ended? Gee, I can't remember. Six mm -hmm. months, maybe. Okay. And, uh, did you get, uh, shipped home right away? Or no, I'll come back to the States for a while. Okay. okay. Well, once the war had ended, uh, how, how long were you in Saipan for, or did you go home right away? No, I'll come back to the States. I think I went back to Nevada to a squadron in Nevada before I got discharged. Okay. Now, while you were overseas, did you, did you see any USO shows or any celebrities or anything like that? Not that it made much of an impression on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I might have, but I don't know. Okay. It's a long time ago. Yeah. All right. And uh, you said you were sent back to to the States and to Nevada before you were discharged. Mm -hmm. Did you do any flying in Nevada? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How long were you there for? God, I can't remember. Okay. A few months. All right. And you were discharged in 1945? Mm -hmm. And uh, whereabouts were you discharged from? I'll be darned if I know. Okay. I can't remember. Okay. And uh, you mentioned once you were discharged, you, you joined the reserves? I stayed in the reserve, yes. Mm -hmm. And you continued to, to fly? Yeah, flew on the Floyd Bennett Field in New York. And uh, what what types of aircraft did you fly? We just flew the uh, trainer, the AT-6, or that was the Army designation, and it was uh -huh. an SNJ in the Navy. Okay. Did you eventually get checked out in, in jets? No. Okay. You didn't fly jets. And uh, how many years did you spend in the, in the reserves? 23, I think. Okay. I come back and I joined a public relations company around here, right. just to get my 20 years in. Mm -hmm. And uh, what rank were you when you, you retired? A lieutenant, full lieutenant. Full lieutenant? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what did you, what, when you came back or got, got out of the military initially, did you, did you make use of the GI Bill at all? Yeah, I went to Siena College on it. Okay. And what did you get your degree in? Business. Business? Accounting, I think. Okay. And uh, did you stay in contact with any of the people you were in the service with? Uh, yeah, two, two, two of them in particular. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, join any veterans organizations? No. At all? No. Okay. Did you... Uh, Ever attend any kind of reunions? No, not no. really. Okay. Um, how do you think your time in the service changed or affected your life? I don't have any idea. Or I always want to learn how to fly, and I do. Mm -hmm. Do you think if it hadn't have been for the service, uh, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have been able to fly? Oh, I'm sure I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you do any flying as a civilian, or just strictly military? Just in, well, I was in the reserve mm -hmm. until my eyes went and I stopped flying, but I stayed in the reserve. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And uh, what kind of work did you do in civilian life? I worked for the state and tax department. 
action together. Mm -hmm. And you retired from the state? Yeah. Yes. How long ago did you retire? Hmm. When I got, let's see. I think I was 61 when I retired. Okay. I'm 86 now, so it's quite a while. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, were you married at all? Yeah, I'm married to your five kids. Okay. Is your wife still? No, she passed away. Okay, all right. And uh, any grandchildren? Nine, I think. Nine, okay. One great grandchild. Okay. Um, any anything <coughs> else you'd like to uh, mention concerning your your military experiences? Oh, it's like I had a good time there. Uh huh. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Now, who are, who are these gentlemen? Uh, Julian Foster, Jack Crystal, and Charles Cipher. Stone Cipher. Yep. They were. We were a combat. They had four people that were part of a combat team. Uh huh. And those were the three men I was with. Okay. And did you fly with with that group mostly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you, your aircraft. Uh, did it have a name? Painted on it or any kind of nose art? No. No? I flown it with names on them. Uh -huh. I never put one on. Mm -hmm. Do you still have your World War II flight jacket? Sure. As far as I know. Uh huh. Somebody stole it. Does, this, does it still fit you? Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, well, thank you so much for your interview. Yeah. It wasn't the one.